And we're live. Hello. Hello, everybody. We're live. Hello. Cool. Hi, right, let's, let's see who's in. We've got Jeff, David, Hi. Wayne. We're live. Hello. Cool. Hello. Right. I can hear me. That's scary. Yeah. I'm clearly watching you somewhere. It's like... <laughs> because. No. because It's always because. It was me, yeah. I... Told you it was cause. <laughs> <laughs> it's always me. Hi, Jay. Um, right. Okay. Tonight, I'm going to be carving a koi carp. Does the carp know? No. <laughs> um, hi, Nick. Um, hi, right. dude. So, this is polyester um, amber from GPS. And it's orange. And it's very, very orange. It is. Um, you can make you can make a resin Jaffa cake out of that. Yes. <laughs> you would. <laughs> oh, oh, mate. Hi, David. We will do this. We will <laughs> walk it. Um, we shouldn't have said that on camera because now somebody else is going to go. Right, that's a good idea. Let's make a. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Cut the uh, basic shape out of the fish koi on this. I'll do that on the bandsaw. Flick you over the bandsaw cam. Um, I'll put myself on silent because you don't want to be hearing that noise and let the boys crack on. Um, for the fins, uh, the tail fin, um, the dorsal fins, etc. It's going to be out of this pearly white, which is almost see-through. Looks really nice, that actually. Um, hopefully, given the right effect, not entirely sure. We'll see. Experimente. Um, obviously, sticking that on with epoxy resin. Um, so I will get over to the bandsaw, get cracking, leave you boys. Uh, don't leave me with cars. Don't leave to me crack on. <laughs> 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 Um, so yeah, cool. If that's all right with you boys, no yeah. worries, sir. Cool. Um, uh, right. Let's give some shout outs to some folks in the chat. Yeah, yeah, please. Uh, please, please. Hi, Nick. Hi, Dave. Hi, Mr. Twydale. Is there another Dave? Hi, Dave the Wood Barber. Wayne of the Big Feeties. Hi, Jeff. We've got Jay up the top. We've got Jay up the top. Um, yeah, I think I'm having we missed anyone. I think everyone's in there. I think uh, we've got. Oh, Richard's in as well. Beard beardy. The beardy. Uh, Mr. Beard. Do you want to join us, Mr. Beard? I'll leave you to think about that one. Oh, like the view. Yeah. Is this gonna bob up and is this gonna bob up and down with the camera? That'd be quite cool. <laughs> I think oh, no, it's not a scroll saw, it's a band saw, isn't it? So that was never gonna yeah. work. I think if you're bobbing up and down, you just end up feeling seasick. Oh, it'd be hilarious for a little while, though. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know I fancy some Blackpool rock? I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of gives you that uh, that impression, doesn't it? The GPS stuff. It's like you look at it and it's like. That's it stuff, is. You it see it in exactly, real life. Yeah. yeah. You see it in real life, it's exactly what it, it looks like a rack full of. Um, I had the privilege of, of visiting them with 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 uh, Jamie and mm. and Richard when we were down, and all yeah. you could see was a rack full of what looked like black pearl rock. <laughs> really huge black pearl. Yeah. At least that's what it looked like. Um, you know, I'm seeing a nine year old. I wonder if you could actually turn and do the same stuff with black pearl rock as you can with. GPS stuff. Do you, do you know? Do you know who? You know that. That's a very good question. It's the sort of thing that either the beard could answer. Um, if uh, Dale, I have some aniseed laxative. If that will do. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know? It's that's the kind of thing that, that either the beard or Steve Twydale would have a crack at. You yeah. Know, trying to trying to turn something out of a stick of black pill rock. Yeah. Or Nick Zometti, that's kind of it's kind of his thing, isn't and it? Nick would put in Nick would put in resin. Yeah. Hi Anna. 
Anna hey, Anna. Hennessy laxatives, then no, that'd be something that'd be hilarious. That's going to be a trick or treat kind of Halloween thing, well, you know. Yeah, Hennessy yeah. balls with some Hennessy laxatives chucked in for good measure. Yeah, just give it, give a kid a load of Hennessy. That, that's. I yeah. think, I think, um, um, I think, doesn't Stace do something like that? Anna, um, it sounds like something Stace would do. Yeah, Anna, he's making, uh, he's carving uh, a carp, a koi carp. Um, what he's doing just now is he's cutting the the body from some GPS polyester. There's another piece of fur fins he showed earlier on, um, uh, which is semi translucent. Might be quite fun. Yeah, I think it's gonna look. I think it's gonna look good. Uh, at the end of it, especially with the fins being in that translucent, uh, whatever that, that translucent stuff's called. <laughs> Hi, Stays. Stays. Oh. Ah, so Steve Twydale says he's already done it. I yeah. carved the snake's head from Clacton Rock. So there you go. Yeah. I told you Steve would be the guy. Yeah. You know. Him or, him, or, him or the beard. Yeah. Have a crack at that. It's, it's, got a, that. it's got that air of madness that I don't Yeah, know. As I was going to say, it's, it's their kind of niche, isn't it? Niche? No, it's madness, mate. Madness. <laughs> you know, <laughs> wind up with a sticky lathe after that, I should imagine. Yeah, I can, yeah, I can imagine. Well, sticky lathe tools is, uh, at the very least. Dear Lord. That's, yeah, probably, that's, that's what she said. Yeah. No. yeah um, a, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that one. <laughs> Uh, oh, what was the one uh, the other day where someone said it, and I? Uh, it was the it was an obligatory. Uh, that's what she said. Moment, I can't remember who said it now. Mm. I think it was in the Make, Makers International yesterday. Um, someone said something, and I was just like, "Yeah, I didn't know who it was either." I think it was one of uh, Claire's fans. Yeah, uh, she said something, and I was just like, "I'm sorry, it has to be said." Like it was an obligatory return back comment. Good. I don't remember it. I remember yeah. watching though. Yeah. Well, I remember watching it in between. Where was it? Sunday night. Yeah, Sunday yeah. night was okay. I was home on Sunday night. Saturday night, I was dodging in and out of traffic. Yeah. Um, um, I, the beard sixteen says, "I'm not mad. It's everyone else on the planet." <laughs> uh, I fear, I fear, I, I fear you may be correct there, Richard. Yeah. We're all mad here. So the, I've uh, done it. So I've got, I've got a, I, I made a sign for for a friend's uh, door, which yeah. is the sign. So the Cheshire Cat. So the smile of the Cheshire Cat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it says we're all mad here. I think I might have posted something on Facebook, Instagram that shows it being it shows it early on after it was cut. Yeah. I think that's pretty fun. I like that. Yeah. I need to do more Alice in Wonderland stuff, proper yeah. Alice in Wonderland stuff, or Jasper Ford version of Alice in Wonderland. But definitely need to do something. Yeah, as in the OG uh, original book version. Yeah, what what what? You that's know, I mean, there's been lots of fantastic interpretations. Yeah. The proper book. Um, yeah. That's Young Mr. Beautiful for children, I don't think. It's, uh, it's fantastic when growing up. Um, yeah. Mr. Twydale says he's also turned to boil sweet pen, too. Well, sweet. That's a thought. You could yeah. kind of. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I mean, that chew the lids of pens. So, I mean, if it was a boiled yeah. sweet pen. If maybe. it was a boiled sweet pen, you'd, I mean, you'd just have it as a lollipop all day, wouldn't you? Yeah. Um, uh, Wayne of the Big Feet, says, Valerie says you must do. I'll give yeah. some thought to that. I, I don't know. Need to do something. Something something with a rabbit holding their watch, perhaps. I don't know. Let me think yeah. about that. Hi, Val. Hi, Val. Oh, Larry's in. Hi, Larry. Hi, Larry. Yeah, Richard's just uh, mentioning your Instagram numbers there. Getting yes. up to the six six. For those that don't know, uh, Dale has reached six hundred and sixty six subscribers on Instagram. 
if subscribers follow us for a laugh we're going to do something yeah. from iron maiden i think yeah um something number of the beastish uh anna says dale i was watching you this weekend but i was too lazy to write something i understand completely anna um or 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 i'm not sure or just depri depri not sure what that means oh, um but einstein rocks thank you very much anna yeah you know yeah i'll need to do something Maiden, maybe maybe an Eddie from the Iron Maiden cover. I don't know. I need to have a think. Mm. Something pop up maybe Saturday. Don't know. Um, or just might cut it and just post images. Yeah. We'll see. I'm sure you'll think of something. Don't know. Could just, uh, yeah. Something sex, sex, sex. Burnley. Oh, there's an idea. I wonder if I could. Mm. Okay. Got an idea. What, the Iron Maiden with flames and then. No, 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 no. Just had an idea. Just an idea. Oddly. Okay. Oddly, I think it's as a. I think I think it might work. I think it might work. Depressed. Yeah. Oh, depressed. sorry to hear that, Anna. Sorry, Anna. What's up with you? She's watching Scroll Saw. She's obviously depressed. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 watching Scroll Saw will do that to you. <laughs> Mike Lang says hi, folks. Hi, Mike. Dave the Wood Barber says he finally reached 300 subs. Well done, Dave. Well done, Dave. Hopefully, you can get uh, encourages you to uh, get a bit more content out. I think Claire from Claire's Crafty Corner said something that was very true. The subs are good milestones, but really, it's the viewers that count. You know, if you're getting loads yeah. of views, that's it. You know, if no one's no one's watching, the subs subs on her her stats says subs aren't watching, and it's, it's true for it's true for a few channels if you watch them. Yeah, it's. I think it's more to do with view count now as to how the algorithm promotes everything, isn't it? Um, not sure. Hi, Leona. I know my friend. Hi, I know the guy. So there's a guy, guy kind of, uh, kind of new before he moved to America called Scott Manley, who's on, um, who's on YouTube. He does a science yeah. show, Scott okay. Manley. Um, you tell he's from Scotland because he's well, he's from Trin to be fair. Um, yeah. um, he worked for Apple, and he 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 says it's all about the viewers. He's just hit the million mark. Um, okay. Um, uh, Andy, uh, Andy, Steve says, Andy, you can cut carrots with a knife, mate. <laughs> I'm half expecting Andy to do a Bugs Bunny impression with uh, once he's finished. I wonder if we would we get a copyright strike for that. For humming what a chin, it? for humming a chin, I don't know. I don't know. How, I don't know how you managed to get a copyright strike because somebody uploaded. We were looking for 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 a character from. Well, actually, it was a mistype thing. We were looking for something else, but we, we wound up looking at Monsters Inc. stuff on YouTube just just yeah. earlier on. Uh -huh. um, um, and someone's uploaded the entire movie, and it's at eight hundred views. And if they didn't get a copyright strike, what do you have to do? Yeah, I. Well, I think the copyright strike is automated. So if it picks up on something within the description itself, then it'll just copyright strike straight away. Either mm. that or um, so it has to be something in the description or someone has to report it, maybe. Don't know. Don't know. Don't definitely know. looked like, definitely was the whole movie. It's 750 viewers, HD quality. <laughs> I'm attached for folks if you haven't seen Monsters then do it now before it goes down. Yeah, um, yeah. No, um, um, it's quite interesting. It's just I'm not sure whether the journey is a copyright strike. If anyone knows yeah. in the chat, uh, please pipe up. Um, Flaming Tunnel says, uh, "Oh, I missed that. Did I miss the opening gambit for that?" Um, uh, last night, when I was lazy this afternoon was ah there we go it rolls right off the top not gonna bother that one just neck being lazy um anna says very happy right now that andy is working with the band so not scroll so <laughs> uh. your uh your band soige and he's meeting with don't put your thumb in the middle of the camera which is a, just a terrible thought and he reaches in he does his thumbs up kind of thing and we watch it sailing off yeah. down the side um anna approves of your band sawing over your scroll sawing sir 
you know, Steve Steve Twardell is just saying that he's always badly singing covers, and he's never been struck down for it. So, uh, uh, also never got hit with any "Make It Matter" Toy Story stuff either. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. I think it might have to be something that gets reported um, to you uh, to YouTube. Mm. Mm, maybe, maybe right, maybe right. Um, it's because I think when I think when it was originally automated, the copyright strikes, they uh, a lot of videos were getting flagged that weren't actually infringing on copyrights, and then as a subsequent result, they had to appeal everything. So probably for mm. sheer work, they Andy, did on a reporting basis. Are you going to do a Bugs Bunny impression? <laughs> uh, no, not anytime soon. But um, I could probably carve a koi out of a carrot, though. Just so. Oh, oh. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Oh, maybe one way to maybe one way to confuse people who don't like vegetables. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> carve carve vegetables. No cool. uh, uh Hi, thrifty. It's gone. Hi guys to uh, everyone who's come in. I am listening, so I might jump in uh, as and when I can. But I'm all yeah. marked up now, so. Guys, don't forget to hit the uh, thumbs up button. I'm looking at Nick's last comment and wondering, I'm cycling through possible comedy answers to Nick's last comment where he says, I've knocked up three pen blanks today. Oh, you dirty boy. Um, <laughs> is kind of where we go with that one kind of thing. What yeah. would Stay say? What well, would Stay say? Stay, Stay, <laughs> I think we should leave her to do the uh, response to that one. Um, uh, Andy, the Beard 16 says, Andy, are you up for a trip to GPS with me on Saturday then? Uh, Larry, hey guys, talking about bandsaws. So anyone who has one, check out a new YouTube channel called Bandsaw Life. This guy is a bandsaw guru. We'll have to check that one out. I think that was uh, Chris Gutierrez. Sorry, Andy. Say that again, mate. I'll give you a shout, Rich. That's it. That's it. I'll, I'll that's give it. Richard a shout. Shout out, Richard. It's okay. Yeah. Richard, Andy's going to shout at you. No, I'll get, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, it looks like a thumb, says Anna. Okay, yeah. it's Ellie Doors. Yes. Leon, sorry, God. Go on. I was going to say, Leon is saying it looks like her son's dead fish that she had to flush. <laughs> Did, well, I read some, did I read something somewhere that you know they might not be dead if they if they're lying on the side of their back? You've just overfed them. I, th I don't know. Um, it only works for me if you find me lying on my back in the on the couch, kind of thing. Don't throw and flush me down the toilet. I've probably just <laughs> overeaten. <laughs> oh, I was going to say something, but I don't want to. <laughs> Off to the great fish tank in the sky, says Leona. Oh, poor little fish. We've lost. Uh, I think I I killed a couple of fish um, when I was left looking after them last year. Uh, okay. Overfeeding them. Oops. Uh, Rich the beard sexy says he's making an owl bandsaw box tomorrow. Um, that should be awesome, Richard. That sounds awesome. interesting. Anna bees. Here we are with more hashtag fish content. <laughs> <laughs> Leona gave the fish a good pork to make sure that it was dead. <laughs> Splendid. <Yeah. laughs> Possible a sandwich could have involved Leona, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Put it this way, if it, if the fish wasn't dead, it was definitely dead after Leona checked it if it was dead. Leona Faye, oh, uh, Larry says, I guess I should have asked if I could give the shout out before I did. Sorry for that. I think oh, it'll be okay. Right. I think it'll be okay. Yeah. Larry, I don't I don't think uh, Andy will be too upset. If at all. Uh, Wayne says, what no burial with full honours, Leona? Tut, tut. 
for the fish, I assume. Uh, and a B, Twitter users will understand this hash. Yeah. I have Twitter. I don't use Twitter. <laughs> I have every social media, and I literally only use Facebook. And that's Twitter is the one that I can't be bothered with. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't be bothered with Twitter. Yeah. I read a lot of stuff from Twitter, but I can't be bothered posting. Yeah. I use... Uh, I, I don't even load Twitter up anymore. I, it's, it's so rare that I'll actually go onto Twitter. Um, the only ones I use are Facebook and Instagram and then YouTube. And it's literally because of you lot. So it says, uh, it says here, Mike Lang says, speak up, Andy, stop being so coy. <laughs> um, uh, Rich, <laughs> Rich says, Rich says, if they're lying on the side but still alive, its swim bladder is shot. Um, uh, Anna says that's a problem, cuz. Um, Steve Twydale asks, does Andy have any koi? Um, um, Mike Lang suggests that there's something fishy about this stream. Ooh. I think we can take that as the answer is sort of, but yes, that's a koi. There's a bit of yeah. work went into that. Yes. Yeah. Better work went into that. It did. How many settings? Did you you didn't do that yourself? Somebody did that for you, Andy, right? The beard. No. You. You did it yourself. Wow. That's awesome. That's impressive. Um, Leona, so yeah, Mike, and on the other arm. So you did it. With, you did it with your right. You did it with your right hand on your left arm and your left hand on your right. I mean, that's pretty cool in itself. Um, being ambidextrous, you're gonna. Yeah. We're not, we don't want to see your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you're not about to get your legs out. Come on, man. That was my leg. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, 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 Mike Lang says there's something fishy about this stream. Leona Lafay says, Steve, saw Steve doing our bandsaw now before. It was cool. I still haven't tried a bandsaw box. Must do one someday. Larry says, Facebook and Bailey use Instagram. Uh, Anna B says, smells fishy. Uh, Mike Lang says, this carving really goes against the flow. Oh, dear. This may be this may be this may be a, a, a moment. Um, Anna B. Anna B. laughs at that. Um, Steve Twidell says, "Koi ink counts very cool. Oh. Very cool." Uh, yeah, I just got a I just got a message that I didn't expect to get. Um, okay, <laughs> throwing a bit there. Sorry. Um, I need to yeah. turn off. Yeah, yeah. All um, right, it's all right. No, no, it's just uh, it's just. Throwing me a little bit. Um, after I'll, I'll message the guy back after, I've, okay. uh, uh, after this. But yeah, that's uh, <laughs> you know when you get some news and you just kind of like good oh, news. Well. Good news. No, no, not good news. Um, oh, okay. uh, Sorry to uh, hear that. Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate, but uh, yeah, I've, he hasn't upgraded to Windows Ten and he's lost his opportunity to. Is that what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People say that Chuck Norris keeps koi carps. That sounds about really? right. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Midnight Joker's just jo joined in the chat. Hi, Mike. Hi, uh, see the, the comments are off the scale. Oh, my. Um, um, ha ha, do. Uh, yes. <laughs> a friend of a friend of my family has a um, koi calf as well. Um, in a even built a pond uh, in his backyard. Um, when we used before we had the driveway, we had a bit of a garden, so sure. him and his missus had come along and um, uh, help us do the garden because his missus had a bit of a green film. Leave uh, dead fish all over your driveway. That's where I thought you were going with that. No, no, 
no, no. Sadly, not. <laughs> yeah, not dead fish on the driveway. That's that's some Godfather shit. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely up there. Well, I mean, you, yeah. it's like it's Middlesbrough. It's not going to be horses' heads, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's true. I don't know. Like, there's a, there's a few places that have uh, lots of stables and stuff around. Uh, Darlington, Thirsk, Stokesley Way. There's a couple of. I mean, Thirsk has quite a big racetrack. Um, yeah. As does Sedgefield, um, which aren't too far away. So, uh, but yeah, they. So what he used to do was when he'd do the garden, he'd collect all the worms and then feed him to his koi car. And cool. I was like, oh, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Like, didn't think it was a problem. But apparently worms in soil help to aerate the soil as they travel that's correct. through it. Um, that's correct. So if you didn't have worms, your soil would just be solid as a rock. So, yep. But you've like, got to remember to walk without rhythm. Yeah. That's probably going to be lost on you. You've not watched the right movies, have you? No. No. Uh, uh, you've got to walk without rhythm, you know. I mean, yeah. otherwise, otherwise you'll attract the worm. Yeah. See if yeah. Andy got that one. Uh, uh, Andy Anna B says it looks every minute more like a thumb. <laughs> Mike Yang <coughs> says YouTube like this has me hooked. Yeah. <laughs> Mike's on form tonight. Yeah, he is. Says, come on, guys! Only six thumbs up on my screen. I agree. Come on, folks! Let's we, get some more thumbs we've in. We've got there. nineteen on ours, Rich. I think yours is lagging yeah. behind, mate. <laughs> we've got more people, more people liking it than watching it at the moment. So good. More, more, more people popping in and liking it is what's yeah. important. Yeah. It's the it's all about watch time as well. So if we have. Uh, as many people staying around to watch, then YouTube will just pick it up. I'm going to try and start, if I can't make lives at the very least, just set my laptop up so if anyone's live, it's just playing so they at least get the watch time figures mm. um, and try and do that uh, a little bit more if I remember to do it because, yeah, I tend to forget. I already put my thumbs up. Uh, I can't do it again. Wish I could. Thrifty G saying that you wish you could give more thumbs up. I must confess, it's the one thing about the the Facebook uh, story that's better. You get the you get to be able to like at that point all the way through the 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 live. So you not only get the live for the for the feed itself, you get the like. For yeah. the for at that point, so you can see whether people like what you're doing or like what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. At that particular point. Yeah, it's. I think it's just a different. I think uh, an Instagram doesn't have that, does it? On the lives, you can't like people's Instagram stories uh, at all, which is weird. You can. No, no, you can. You definitely can. Can you? If you tap on the screen, it brings up a little, a little, um, sort of you know response thing. You can definitely like them. Oh, I know. Right. I've done it. Done to Andy, in fact. I think mostly when he's being mental and doing a, a, a <laughs> clockwork, um, a clockwork Andy, clockwork yeah. orange. Yeah. Um, the beard sixteen says, "Oh, thrifty says I've already put my thumbs up. Can't do any more. Sorry." Um, the beard says, 4,000 hours is a long time." Um, yeah. um, Anna B says, "I know Andy is a genius, but I still only see a thumb all the time." <laughs> Just one, Anna, or three? Hmm. It's fine. It's taking shape now. You can see as he's carving away. Um, you can sort of see the mouth of the thing and the little sides that he's doing. So it's gonna. T it'll just take shape. It's. It's one of those things that you just. It starts out and you think, "Oh, what's that?" And then as it goes along, you're like, "Well, wow." At least that's my reaction every time I see Andy do a carving. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's, it's like I mean, it's the, like most of the lives you kind of watch a, a, a thing in Wayne's a crackle blaze earlier on. You, you know it's going to be a platter, and then yeah. it's the last few minutes that just kind of goes, you know, just falls into place. Um, all the way along, just as it pieces together, stuff we've seen Steve doing it, um, yeah. Richard doing it, 
most of the folks that do live, you kind of see that last five or ten minutes. Yeah, um, it's it's always in the last sort. Of, the money shots always come at the end. It's the same with your lives. Uh, you sort of, although yeah, you have the pattern, but the pattern's a blank piece of paper essentially with a few lines on it. As, mm. as you've cut it and then put it together. It's the last it. few minutes. It's the money shots in the last few minutes. Yeah, that's it. You know. Um, um, you don't quite get the you, you don't quite get the double money shot with Yorkshire Grit twice through the yeah, twice yeah. through the video or yeah, yeah. or axed twice through the video. Yeah. Um, we <laughs> have a few more chats. What have we got in yeah. the chat? So we have, um, um, uh, we have uh, Anna says only one. Where are you looking at? Well, there's the two thumbs in his hands, Anna, yeah. plus the the orange one, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, the wood barber Dave says Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, you're absolutely right, sir. It was uh, a fortnight, I think. No, um, Larry, Larry, there's your next project, Dale, and it's a thumb. Um, absolutely. Um, Anna B, true Dave, uh, Huey. Here, watching from the workshop, I see 16 watching, 21 thumbs, good going. Thanks. Hi, Huey. Um, Mike Lang says, oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm not saying that. Uh, it's it's better down there where it's dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, um, I'm not sure we're going with that one, mate. Um, Dave McLaren says, hi, Huey, obviously. Um, Andy's thumb, do a project of Andy's thumb. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, that would work. Um, um, we're turning with Steve Twidell. Does Andy carve from pictures all the time, or does he do it from memory? Sorry about that. Oh, wait, I'm still on mute. On my own. No, you're not. No, yeah. Sorry about that, my little sister. He does it. He does. He does all from memory. I think that that meant uh, Steve. Um, Wayne of the Big Feeties. Dave Rome is talking about. Have you seen the Coliseum? <laughs> um, place it's only half built. Laughs out loud. Dave McLaren. Um, sometimes he has this picture on his phone, Steve. So yeah. So I think the answer would be in this case, it's by hand. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Sometimes I think would be that. Uh, I didn't see thumbs while he was writing this deal. Um, uh, Huey's being coy, says Jay. Um, ba boom. Um, Nick. Sounds like my live on Saturday, but people are looking at it like looking at it like, oh my god, that looks like then then it becomes something. Um, very true. Um, Dave, the wood barber laughs out loud, Wayne. It's been rebuilt more than ten times. The Flaming Tunnel, how do Huey didn't see you there? Um, yeah. um, um, cool. Right, let's try that. And he decided to do a quick turn to test the lighting and end up with something I'm really liking. Shame I didn't film the whole thing. Do oh, yeah. Huey just, uh, yeah, Huey's saying that he only he decided to do a quick test and then ended mm -hmm. up liking what he was doing. Fair play. It happens. You get you get into a zone and then you're like, oh shit, this is actually turning out to be a surprisingly good thing, and then get carried away. Steve wants to teach Andy some sign language. I don't know any sign. Actually, I do know. I know some some sign language. Um, my do. nephew, my nephew is um, um, highly functional and autistic, and it's one of the things that, that, that at the school um, they teach the, they, they teach some sign language. I think it's a great oh, thing. That's good. Um, I I only know two uh, two parts of. No, three three elements of sign. You be language. careful where you're going with us. Yeah, I don't. I don't. You, think you, be, you be you be you careful. We I mean, there's two of them. I reckon I can predict. I don't know where you're going with the third one. <laughs> the third one. Yeah, go on now. What's the third one? Two fingers, one finger, and a fist. Yeah. Oh, um, so that's four. That's four. Yeah. That's four. Four and five. Yeah. yeah and everybody yeah. knows phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that actually sign language? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, phone. I know a little bit more than I expected. 
in those. I was just thinking profanities. Yes, of course you were. Yeah. <laughs> um, like... Anna's going. Night, night, Anna. Night, Anna. Um, um, what are we going here? Wayne's come. Wayne's come back. Bloody internet. Is it is is it underwater, Wayne? I mean, is it doing? I mean, are you okay? Because there's really. I mean, it's what ninety miles an hour winds in the west coast. You all right? Uh, Mike Lang says that poor fish. Yeah. Dave the wood barber. My sign language is profanity, so it's not quite great. <laughs> Jolly good. It's like uh, my wife speaks. My wife is fluent in eight languages, and I'm teaching her a ninth, and I'm teaching her a ninth, which is foul language. <laughs> um, uh, Mr. Twydale says I only know Irish special needs sign language. That was developed for Down's children and autistic kids. So it may be very similar to what they taught my my nephew Steve. Yeah, I can't cool. imagine it's very very far off, um, given the the relationship. I didn't realize there were variations of sign language. I thought there yeah, there's definitely an American and a British sign language. Um, I seem to recall that. Is that just like English English and American English? Where they... no no different words for different things. Different one, okay, yeah, right. was, was it? Was it bullshit or something? Isn't it? Yeah. Bullshit. Bullshit. Don't know. Something like that. No um, idea. Yeah. Yeah, you were saying what language are you teaching your wife then? Foul. Foul. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Foul language. It's uh, it's Dale, like. Have you taught her jockeys? No, no, Wayne, I haven't. What I've done is I've, I've tried to just. I've, what I've tried to do is I've tried to learn English and give her a fighting chance. <laughs> um, I feel I've failed tremendously so far. Yeah. See, when when we were kids, we used to. I I can speak um, Urdu and Punjabi and Hindi, even though they're all variations of essentially the same thing. And whenever we used to try and uh, teach any of the other kids at school the same lang that language, it would always start off with the profanities every time, without fail. Don't know why. Just you always start with the profanities. Well, they're fun, isn't it? Isn't yeah. It? yeah, yeah, that's it. Like when I was learning Mandarin, I learned important things like how to how to guide a taxi driver yeah. back to the hotel, tell the barman yeah. she was pretty, um, order <laughs> beer, tell someone it's too yeah. much money, um, yeah. um, all these sort of you know bottling, where's the toilet, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Stringing a sentence together was much more challenging. Uh, uh, Mike Lang says. Minus 30s here all week. I'm already getting cabin fever. Mm. Wow. Um, Steve Red Twidell one. says, every country has a different sign, which sucks. It should be universal. Um, it would be yeah. one of those grand universal things. It would be a, a common language. Um, yeah. When, oh, sorry, Dave says, I can <laughs> speak a little Hindi. You can speak a little Hindi. Cool. So, I, Hindi and Urdu are exactly the same more or less the same it's just slightly different twangs um and it's, it's like american english and british english essentially um punjabi is a little bit more coarse it's more like harsh geordie or no even that's a bit yeah harsh scouse i think is probably a better uh, harsh uh, scouse. Like, yeah like really wow. harsh scouse. wow is, You're just uh, killing Andy's audience here, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> killing Andy's audience. Andy, is the I mean, you can see the material is very dusty all over the, the countertop. Um, is that particular orange stuff any more dusty than the, the normal GPS you carve with? Yes, it's much more dusty. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. It's very, fi very, very fine, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a scene out of Scarface. Hey. You know the scene in Scarface where he has all the cocaine on his desk. What? <laughs> dear Lord, the family friendly channel, dear boy. Calm yourself. <laughs> Calm yourself. It's a reference to a classic movie. Calm yourself. You know, dear Lord. Um, the wood bubble says lines. Yes, 
Yes, that's what that's what Cuz should be made to do after that remark, Dave. <laughs> you see, you know, write out write out one hundred times. I must think about not using any language that might be construed as um, whatever. Non -friendly, uh, friendly. Uh, yeah, uh, Steve Twardell says, is Andy going to bag that dust and sell it with a credit card? See? You know. Yeah. The 100 lines, cuz. There we go. There uh, we go. Yeah, yeah, that's the other stuff. Yeah, it's much more, it's much larger PCs in some respects. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know. Mm -hmm. Pens? Bit of resin? Pens? Yeah. Uh, Huey's saying that an old boy at his first engineering job used to shout "jildy jildy jildy" at everyone because it meant it means it does mean faster, faster, faster. Okay. Um, Larry went to Japan for thirty days. Only thing he learned was "hello, goodbye, potatoes, and pork." And other than that, just pointed out the pictures. So, yeah. Uh, so the so the ninth language. Yeah. So there's nine. So the ninth language my wife is learning is Japanese. Okay. Um, um, she's currently learning that. She's currently learning how to write it, um, um, which is really important. Um, so yeah. yeah, so it's cool. It's one of yeah. the, one of those things that one of those things. She's now fed up. She she, she watches a lot of Japanese TV, yeah, uh, Japanese movies, and now she's fed up. She wants to be able to understand exactly what they're saying, rather than reading it in subtitles of one of the languages she understands. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I was like that with um, Dragon Ball Z. He when they um, the super version, they had the sub version. No so idea what you're talking that. about. Oh, yeah. It's anime, Dragon Ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was watching the sub version, and I was just like, yeah, I have absolutely no idea what they're saying here. So the translations, they could have been completely different. So yeah. I, kind of, I had this uh, sort of fleeting thought of, maybe I should learn J uh, Japanese at some point uh, yeah, of language. Good. She's she's spending ages writing the the symbols. Uh, yeah. Out in the chat, Leona says uh, that that she learned Irish, French, Italian, and German, and can't speak any of them. I feel I feel we may have had the same teacher, Leona, yeah. sort of thing. I mean, I did spend two years in China, so I did pick up a few words, um, mostly by for the need to survive. But yeah. um, everything I learned at school it went in one ear and out the other. Yeah. Um, um, it's hard to practice. It's hard to practice a language unless you're embedded in it, I think. It's easy for someone to learn English by comparison. Yeah. Um, 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 Wayne Bigfoot Woodcraft, we have an apartment in Italy and my Italian is non-existent and my Sheffield accent is difficult to say anything. You know. Yeah. What about Valerie's though, Wayne? Has she got this or is it um or is it a challenge for you? Um, Dave the Woodbarber, if he adds resin, the dust would go back to orange, wouldn't it? It should do, I thought, Dave. Um, yeah. um, I, I would imagine, you know, dampening it down and make it make time back. So it could be quite a, quite an interesting sort of pen blank. Um, Steve Twydale says it's a test tube or jar filled. Sorry, I missed that. Um, he could make um, so I've missed that one. Back up, back up, back up. Ah, there we go. He could make one of those sand tubes with the dust in it. What's a sand tube, Steve? It's a test tube, a jar filled with coloured sand to make a picture. Yes, that would work very well. That would work very well. Um, you would see the. Yeah, you could do the stratification through it. Even just one of those jars with the stratification through it, that might work. Where they put the sand at the bottom and some glass pebbles in the top of it, and then put some artificial plant on top of it. <laughs> um, but Andy would carve the plant, you know, so that'd be all right. Yeah, carving the business end of the pineapple. Dear Lord. <laughs> Leon, uh, Anna's saying that she can speak five languages, but not. Not even one of them properly, not even her mother's language. Uh, Wayne of the Big Feet is saying Valerie is worse than he is. Uh, there is a local dialect that even the northern Italians struggle with. Uh, I must be really lagged. None of that's come in yet. Uh, it's, I've, I'm looking at it on the YouTube, not on yeah, the. Yeah, I might, I might launch the YouTube one because that's not showing up in StreamYard quite. There, there it's now. 
Yeah, no, it's not. Stream, Streamyard's about uh, good about, laggy behind. Yeah, yeah it is. Shop dogs just popped in. Hi, Mark. Luna, I totally understand where you're coming from with that Bailey speaking English. That's what I tell everybody um, yeah. in every office I go into that I'll pull it. I, I, I think I should walk around with permanent subtitles underneath <laughs> me when I'm in when I'm in the office. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Twydale offers Koi. Look at it. You can start to see the form emerging now. Yeah. You really can. It's coming together. It's just, it's one of those. Uh, Anna says she can speak Russian better than English. Um, I reckon I could probably speak Russian better than English. So the <laughs> My Russian goes as far as Das Vidanya, comrade, and that's about it. Comrade. I don't even think that's actually I, I don't think they use that. Das Vidanya is definitely um, a legitimate word. Yeah. All the Russian I know I've picked up from movies, I must confess. Yeah. Mostly hunt for Red October because Sean Connery says it in a Russian and a Scottish accent, so you can kind of wrap your head around it. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> uh, in, in fairness, that's how I learned um, Hindi and Urdu because my grandma oh, said it to you in Scottish. No, no, my, my, my grandma uh, watches a lot of Indian dramas and they all speak Hindi and Urdu, so okay. that's how I because I've grown up with that in the background my language skill is better because of that and obviously i speak it at home as well um but i can get by in conversation in 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 the europe pakistan but uh yeah sometimes it's like can you say that in english uh really should be better i can't write either any of those languages i can't write in urdu or in uh hindi or in arabic for that matter even though i should be able to but yeah. What can you do? Work. That's what I'm typing into talking to some, some folks at work. Yeah. I'm having to do that. Doing a lot. Um English is supposed to be one of the hardest languages to learn, isn't it? English is like the Borg. It just assimilates yeah. whatever it takes it wants and, and as it's moving along. And then it's either that or it kind of follows unsuspecting languages down a, down a, a dark alleyway and so yeah. like mugs them for grammar and loose, and loose <laughs> uh, <laughs> mugs, them, mugs them for words and loose grammar <laughs> as it sees fit. <laughs> yeah, in, in, in fairness, that's not far from what happened, is it? You know, it just kind of goes. Oh, I like the look of this world. Let's have a word. Let's have a chat with this word masala, shall we? Yeah, kind yeah. of thing. You know? Yeah, that's it. It's, uh, uh, I can't. Um, I can't remember. There was some. There was someone talking about uh, something on Facebook. Um, it was one of those far right extreme something had been shared. So my brother. My brother's a comedian, right? So yeah. My brother's a comedian, and he for a very short period. Do you remember video shops? Remember rental place, rent, rental places. I mean, just, yeah, 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 yeah. So he worked on Blockbuster, and he has a, he has a, he has, which I will not do justice to in this conversation. He has a, he has a commentary. He says, "You see, the thing that winds them up." He says, "The thing that used to wind me up." He says, "People would come in and say, have you got that film with that guy in it?'" Yeah. <laughs> He's going, "What film with that guy? You know that one with that guy in it? The one with the, yeah. the blonde hair?" And he'd, yeah, yeah. he'd have an entire conversation about something, something where someone's desperately trying to communicate to him. Yeah. Um, what this movie is by describing it in the most general, generic terms ever. Yeah. Your opening line in that last. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. Yeah. <laughs> it was that thing in Facebook with that guy in it? You know that yeah, thing. Yeah. It's, you know. Yeah, like I say, I barely pay attention to some of those stuff just because of mm. the type of content that it is. And I just remember seeing one of the comments saying, "Yeah, half the English language isn't actually English; it's from oh. other languages." So, oh, it's wahooed and burgled. The amount yeah. of Indian, Japanese, Chinese, and everything that yeah. winds up in it. So here yeah. we go. So yeah. we've got we've got Steve Twidell saying mine Dutch is absolute. Um, um, mine Deutsch is East absolute. And at that point, I can't read that. I'm assuming it's very bad, I think, it would be where he was going with that. Yeah. Leona says, and I spent the 90s working in a video shop, still the best job you ever had. I would imagine it'd be a lot of fun. Um, yeah. um, yeah, it's almost a shame they're gone. 
in some respects. Um, yeah. um, um, uh, it's like HMV, really. Um, um, if nobody understands you, adopt the universal Scottish European language of point and shout. I feel that's an, I feel everyone who speaks English um, adopts that regardless of where they're from in the world. They speak slowly and loudly yeah. in the yeah. desperate hope that the person somehow, that will somehow work. Yeah, it's like um, um, Chris Tucker in uh, Rush Hour way. He's like, do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? It's like, no, <laughs> you know, we're Chinese. That was a bad Chris Tucker impression. Really? Oh, yeah. I'm, I don't remember Chris Tucker's um, impression. So, yeah. Andy, you can kind of see the fish body. Is that is that yeah. kind of ready to move on to the the fins, or or is there a bit more to do? You're still muted, Andy. I just dropped my laptop. That was all. Oh, <laughs> is everything okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're all good. We're all splendid, splendid. Well, um, life ended, so where, where are we? Where, where? So, so in terms of what comes next, I mean, you can see the, the form of the fish forming up. Is it straight to? Is it straight to 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 fins now, or or is there more carving to go? He's gone back onto mute. He's pointing. Night, Dave. Oh, okay, so maybe I might have damaged the laptop. You sure? Night, Dave. No, no, it's still going. It's, it's fine. It's Splendid. still working. Splendid. Still on. It's still on. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to carve out a couple of the other bits and bobs. Gills. Uh, the recess for the eyes, the gills. Um, I'm going to cut out these bits first. Stick them on and then mm -hmm. carve once they're stuck on. Awesome. Um, there's going to be uh, one either side there, one at the top, probably about there, another one there, little small ones at the bottom, and then the tail. Cool. Cool. All right. Splendid. So I'll just finish those little bits off. Uh, I'm just going to double check the laptop's not dead. It seems okay. Still running. Yeah, it's, it's all right. Any bashes or bashes or scratches? No, it's dirty, but there's no ch no difference there. That's all good. Right, okay. Young Dave's calling it a night, Andy. He says oh, it's looking good so far. Nice one. Catch you later, Dave. You take care, buddy. Um, right, cool. Cool. I'll get cracking again. Um, Leona says the uh, the job in the video shop was her best job ever. Um, drinking after lock up, drinking, watching movies, eating fresh made popcorn. Yeah, it's got to be up there. That 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 sounds that sounds like student era, Leona kind of. You know, I mean, that sounds definitely the definitely the job to have. Um, a shop dog is indeed a fish. Um, Wayne of the big feet's not moved on much there, Leona. Uh, I think in re reference to the... Uh, well, I don't feel she works in a video shop anymore. She's <laughs> <laughs> just replaced movies with YouTube. You know, um, um, Steve Twydell says it's okay. You can just carve a new laptop, Andy. Um, Wayne of the Big Feeties it says you just replaced movies with YouTube, Leona. Um, uh, Leona says that's going to look cool, Andy. Anna says at least it's not a thumb anymore. Um, um, Leona... Oh, Leona says pretty much Wayne in reference to the just replace the movies with YouTube. Yeah. Um, Steve says uh, Finn Brilliant. Um, 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 Sorry, Leona says free, free, yes, was my college days. Absolutely. Yeah. Don't know where the free came from there. Looking back and looking at I feel Freudian slip, Leona. Um, Terry still looking at this carrot. Yes, uh, we're moved on to fish now, Terry. Yeah. Um, um, JP is in the house. Hi, JP. Hi, JP. Yeah, uh, guys. Terry is a friend of mine, and I gave her the link to Andy's because I thought she would appreciate the um, carving work. 
um, yeah. also an artist as well, trying to get her to get involved in the maker community a bit more. Um, Andy Anna B says even the Washington Post writes hashtag more fresh content. Um, um, the beard scene says still here, just having an epic battling with OBS. Um, um, there may be some tablets for that, uh, Richard. You might want to kind of <laughs> lie down. Um, um, excuse me. Okay. Uh, saying, how can she sleep now? Is she afraid of getting nightmares from the Koi Carl? Uh, I believe that um, it may be a reference to young James, who's entered the chat. All right, okay. I don't feel I'm supposed to call him James. I feel Jamie <laughs> may be more accurate than maybe violence and so. Um, um, cool. Yeah. So Terry's asking what Andy's carving. So Andy's got a blank from a company called GPS Agencies. It's a polyester resin. And he's cut the basic shape out on his bandsaw, and he's now carving a fish from that. It just looked like a carrot to begin with. Doesn't everything start out looking a bit like a carrot? Yeah. It's like one of those glitches in the Matrix sort of thing. Everything starts out looking like a carrot, and everything tastes yeah. chicken. Yeah, that's it. It's like uh, everything on a lathe looks like a, you know, Go on. I'm not listening. <laughs> family friendly, remember? Go, go on. I thought they looked like lumps of wood, personally, mostly bow blanks. But go on. You've lost me now. I was talking about the longer, uh, the big long phallic things. Uh, yeah. Is it possible this is your inner demons talking, young? Po young probably. Girl? You know, is it me. your own inner demons that are, are displaying themselves here. Uh, you know uh, me. You know, I feel <laughs> I feel some help maybe in order. <laughs> um, um, uh, Larry, um, guys, it was good seeing you again. But I'm off for the night, night, Larry. Night, Larry. There you go, Steve. Steve saying spindles on the leg. I thought that was more like legs. Spindles uh, don't look like yeah anything untoward, really. Uh, I feel it's your inner demon speaking. Whose hands are those? They belong to Andy, uh, who is carving. Mister H. H. Bespoke of Team Viking, Terry. Very dusty. Yeah, I hope he's got his... Have you got your mask on, Andy? He does. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. He does indeed. Lee. Yeah, Steve, Steve just clarified a point there. He's saying that they're the hands of the very talented Andy. I missed the talented part, actually, as I uh, gave Andy his little introduction. The terrifying, mad Viking that is Mr. Mr. Andy, Lord of the Westworld heel. Yeah. <laughs>
Are you going to be carving scales into the uh, koi carp as well then, Andy? Yeah. Not today, though. Oh, it won't be today. Okay. N no, no, no. We'll be here all night, otherwise. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but, um, yeah. You had any joy in getting yourself a butler that yet, Dale? I'm still hoping for droids. Droid. Yep. That's 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 that's, that's my grand plan for avoiding obsidian. Yeah. You know? Um, I keep thinking of some Um, 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 good lord, there's something just gonna land you on it. Uh, yeah, that's put you on the spot there, hasn't it? There we go. That's as good as it's going to get, Leona. That's quite good. <laughs> I feel that may be a hint of the great escape. I don't know. Maybe, you know, not sure what's going on there. I don't. I can't do the damn busters. I would have done the damn busters instead or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm I have no no clue. I have no idea where I could have went with that kind yeah, of thing. I don't know why that one floated to the top of my side. Don't know where that one came from. Just floated to the top. Sorry. Um, awkward silence. Very awkward silence. Yeah. Um, um, very awkward silence. Some sort of fish joke is obviously required. I know, fish reference. Um, well, fifth nice. book, fifth book from the Douglas Adams, uh, the fifth book in, in the Douglas Allen, uh, Adams trilogy, um, <laughs> Shaker's Guide to the Galaxy, is uh, so long. Thanks for all the fish of memory. So, is that the fourth or the fifth? That's the fourth, I think. Um, um, or is it the third? Ah, it doesn't matter. There we go. Scott um, Blue Light Turning has just joined the chat as well. Hey, Scott. How are you? Steve's asking if you're going to use beads for eyes uh, or a different resin. Scott saying the Dam Busters is epic deal. We carried my granddad out from his funeral to it. Uh, I, that would be an all, that would be that's a good one to kind of kind of go with. Uh, did you enjoy choosing the books for the seven day book challenge? Dale says Wayne. Um, actually, I've still got number seven to do. Um, um, the challenge with all of that. The, 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 yeah, Mike's kind of got it. It's almost as whistling. That whistling was almost as bad as Vogon poetry. Yeah. Yes, completely. <laughs> um, um, actually, the seven day book challenge, the seventh day's book is proven to be quite challenging. Um, there is a, a kind of stack of things that I want to put in it, but, uh, okay, I'm going to leave it probably to the last possible minute to actually to, 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 to stick it up there. Um, um, it'll be one that, that, uh, th that one's either going to be the controversial one or the one that everybody goes, oh wow, that's a that's a, that, I remember that book sort of thing. So I don't know. Yeah. Short answer is yes, but the seventh one is is the one that that's got me a bit anxious because I don't know. Um, um, I don't know what I'm going to choose of so many. It's um, I think it's quite a hard challenge to do, especially with the variety of books that are out there and what you can have. It's just such a, it, you know, you, your taste in books isn't going to be the same as like my taste in books, for example, albeit they'll be quite similar, I suspect, given what I know about you so far. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, that would that would be an, that would be an interesting one over a beer or a whiskey at Makers. That's that's what yeah. we're going to have to test. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what we're going to have to test. I found yeah. that I had my limits to one per author. That's a good. That's a good show. It's a good show. One per one per yeah. off. Yep, it's one. It's a good show. 
Um, cause I would have went some, I mean, I have every book that Terry Pratch has ever written as hardback. Um, yeah. it would be so easy to flood that with Terry Pratchett books. It would have been, would have been almost impossible. He's currently the most likely one for uh, number seven. Uh, and, and it's like there's 40 books to pick from which one do I pick? Um, yeah. uh, um, I feel myself homing in on the thief of time, I think. Um, or Mort, I don't know. We'll see. see. I I keep meaning to read more and just get. I have so many books on my Kindle app because um, I got a bunch of them for free, and I was like, yeah, I want to try and read more. And then every time I just end up getting distracted by something else. I'm a huge fan, huge fan. Um, so I am. I am one of the most geeky tech techy individuals that i know yeah. um if there's a if there's a gadget or a doofer or a what's name that i can get somehow to make this fractional second thing better um yeah. I'm, I'm all about it except yeah. when it comes to books i think books should be made of paper they should open they should be yeah. treated with reverence someone's uh, put their energy their life and, and passion into that and yeah it deserves the attention I, um, of a true craftsperson having labored for sometimes years to, yeah. to create that, 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 that book. Yeah. Um, well, huge thing about it. I get, I get that. And when the, when the Kindle first came out, one of the things that I actually said to people was I wouldn't get a Kindle because I like the feel of having the book in my hand and I like being able to turn the pages and there's something um, quite, quite important about doing being able to do that with books and then i think i have i can't remember whether i how i got the kindle i think it was a gift and i was just like okay yeah this is actually really convenient as well and i'm of the approach of sometimes convenient hold on a minute hold on a minute uh my daughter is dying catch you guys later bye thrifty hope everything's all right thrifty, yeah i hope your daughter's okay um, Steve Twidell says that camera angle looked like you were your fingers when it go go missing, Andy. <laughs> um, um, uh, Wayne Bigfoot says I am the same with James Herbert or Dennis Wheatley. Okay, James yeah. Herbert, I've definitely heard of, but you still feel like you're. I mean, you, you, it's, it's so. I mean, I think that. I mean, I think a Kindle is a is a dreadful thing. It yeah. just devalues the it devalues the event. You you, you don't like <laughs> what you're reading. You'll just change book. That's yeah. all you'll do. You'll just you'll just flit yeah. around, flit around like the flit around like the the latter day millennial, almost Gen Z individual <laughs> that you really are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, harsh criticism! You know, yeah, accurate, I feel. <laughs> yeah, I mean, swipe, swipe, swipe. Yeah. Ooh, three seconds. I've, Next book. I've never, swipe. Actually, <laughs> I've never actually started a book on the Kindle and then not finished it. Okay. Um, so, how many times did you change books on the way through it? Never. Well, hold on. Let's qualify this. How many Kindle books have you have you read? So um, far, um, uh, about ten, I would say, on okay. the Kindle. How long uh, have you had the Kindle? Sorry. How long have you had the Kindle? Uh, I've had the Kindle since two thousand and eleven, or a variation of the Kindle. It's not a Kindle. It's a Kindle app on my. T so that's all. That for a moment let's return yeah. to the action andy um in terms of the scales that you're cutting are you doing the long ones from like for the tail i mean how's the how are you going to build the tail with uh with those fins so all right okay okay so i mean koi carp are famous for having quite elegant large tails if i recall um, um, ah, okay. I see. Yeah. Yeah. So you're kind of going to, you're going to assemble it from the, the pieces. Awesome. Awesome. Looking forward to seeing this. Are you going to do any carving on the fins themselves or are you going to keep them quite significant? I'm not sure what happened there. He was rubbing something. Thumbs up. Yes. He's going to do some carving. On. Yeah. Awesome. Good. So what you're saying is, is you don't read a lot, really, was what you said. No, no, shamefully, yeah, I admit that I don't read anywhere near as much as I would like. Um, awesome. Every time I try to read a bit more, it's just I end Switch up. Switch off. 
yeah. switch off. Don't do it on your phone. Get yeah. a book. Go yeah, find yeah. go find somewhere with a chair. Get yeah. yourself a whiskey and a cigar and read the book. Oh, that sounds, that sounds like a good just, idea. Just read the book. It's great. Just sit there and read the book. Yeah, yeah. You know, don't have your phone anywhere near you. It's just a heady yeah. distraction. So, question for you. So, cool. say they say that one of the most recurring nightmares that the that people have is being exposed in public, and this manifests itself in the nightmares than being naked. Uh -huh. You know, naked in public, all that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. People probably in the chat who quite like the idea of being naked in public, but we're not talking about that. <laughs> um, um, but the idea is that's the kind of nightmare that is a recurring yeah. nightmare. Um, they say that the, the millennials and Gen Z, um, their version of this nightmare is the phones run out of charge or they can't find it. No, never had it. Um, never, had, never had the nightmare. No, I've never had that nightmare. And I, a couple of years back, I went through, I used to do a tech detox. So I would switch off my phone and my laptop so I wouldn't touch anything for a week. So, uh, so that's why you're going wrong with your reading sort of yeah. thing because you're detoxing, you're switching it all off. What you want is a book. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, they keep you occupied yeah. you know, so you don't fall off the wagon. Yeah, that's it. Uh, like I say, it's it's something that I need to try and get back into doing, and just I can't ever seem to get back into the flow of things. Even some of my favorite books, what I'll try and do is read the same book again that I really enjoy, and one of them is the Paulo Coelho Alchemist, um, one of my favorite books, and it's something that I can read over and over again. So what I'll do is hold on, I... hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold on. chat. Hold on. This one's this one's worth it. So Richard the Beard Sixteen says, I've done naked metal detecting on a local nudist beach. It was fun. Do you know? Do you and know you Rich? Say it, I'm not <laughs> Do you know Rich? Of all the people I thought might come away with some comment in that respect, it may I, I thought maybe, maybe. Maybe yeah. there was there's been some experience. Um, JP has responded. The beard sexting didn't find any metal, but found a load of wood. <laughs> boom, boom, here all week. Yeah, um, um, here all week. Yes, jolly good. More than once, he says. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Driftwood, obviously. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, So, um, how many, how, how many, I mean, so I've lost track of what fins you're cutting, Andy. How many fins have you, you got to do? Because it looks like you've cut a lot, or has there, has there been a problem with some of the others? Or is it just we have no idea how this, how, you, how you're assembling the, the fins? I think it's because we have no idea how he's assembling the fins. <laughs> um, um, they, uh, Scott, the blue light Turner, says he's only ever read biographies cover to cover. Or Randy McNabb's Bravo to Zero. Uh, Dave McLaren inquires, um, hard or softwood, JP? Uh, Huey, Rich, could only be funnier if Prince, uh, if a Prince Albert had been setting the metal detector off. Oh, fucking <laughs> Um... Um, Anna, Anna says hashtag uh, intimate piercing. Yeah. <laughs> My word. <laughs> see, see, this is what you unleashed. This is what you yeah. unleashed. Apparently, you get loads of pound coins, though. But, yeah. You know, it's a case of, um, um, yeah. So I think the last book to to go back to 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 what we're saying right at the start of this when the question was opened up. I yeah. think it'll be a Terry Pratchett. It's just going to be, it's just going to be one uh, Wayne of the Big Feeties. I just need to work out which one, and I'm agonizing over it. Yeah. Um, um, Beard says loads of one pound coins, though. Um, JP has followed up. The best book I ever read was of Mice and Men. It's a good book. Yeah. We were supposed to do that for our English. GCSE and end up going with Frankenstein instead. We did. We we did catch twenty two. That's what we did for uh -huh. our for our level. 
I yeah. quite enjoyed it. It's, it remains one of my favorite books. It's a good summer. Oh, cool. Um, the Beat Sixteen says, "Come to think of it, I have found an ear bar." Oh. Yeah, so metal detects found an ear bar. A win of the big feeties. I have around thirty-five copies of Dracula, in all different covers. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Anna B. Workshop says, "I think we can see it, Jamie." Yeah, Dracula actually was uh, based. Was it based in Whippy or written in Whippy? I can't remember which. Whippy isn't far from Middlesbrough. So can you do can you do uh, so with with your accent, sir? Can you do a, a Dracula from Whitby then? Can you? My accent, Dracula <laughs> from Whitby. I don't. I don't. You I'm, to, you, you're yeah. more, gonna be more convincing than me. That's an absolute race and certainty. <laughs> I doubt it. You know, um, I'm sure there's people in this. Uh, uh, Wayne says both cuz. Ah, there you go. Yeah. Um, Steve uh, Steve Twidell says. Um, my son found a metal detector with his metal detector with his metal detector. That took a bit going in there. Yeah. Um, wait, wait. He found a metal detector with his metal detector. <laughs> well, metal, um, so it's not. No, 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 but I can get I, I get the material yeah. component, but that that yeah. takes a bit of explaining, Steve. Um, <laughs> um, uh, Jeff Christie says, I guess that that is, that is the tail, Andy. I don't think it. So um, we'll come back to that one. Um, dum, 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 and both cuz uh, Beard Sixteen says I've read all the Harry Potter books six times. Yeah. Um, quite, quite, quite. I must confess, I was one of those fools that queued up for a while. Um, um, See, I I have the. Uh, black cover versions of the Harry Potter books, the uh, last three. And when I was, was around about the time the Deathly Hallows came out, the first four were on Amazon for about 30 quid. And now, because I've got the other three, yeah, I wanted to obviously get the first four. So I had a look on eBay yesterday as to how much some of those were. They're going in excess of like three, four hundred quid. Some of them. Awesome. Um, it's like, but more yeah. importantly, much more importantly, we need to make Anna do Dracula with some of her accents. Yeah, that that make would be central. That that needs to go into a diary somewhere that Anna has to do Dracula with with yeah. with her accents. That might work. Yeah. You know. Yeah, Dracula was written in Whitby and partially set in Whitby as well. So. E, you can't put that stick through me out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just every time I think of when someone says Whitby, I think of um, um, Reeves and Mortimer and 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 uh, Spike Milligan. Spike Milligan did Mission Control. Actually, no, he did. What was it? He did the Irish space program. What Spike Milligan? Where it was Mission Control and Sly. It was a Sligo. Yeah, it was someone like Mission Control and Sligo or something like that. Yeah, some 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 part of Ireland somewhere which was not normally associated with, with right. anything. Somewhere he knew because he was Irish. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, um, just remember being as funny as anything. Um, yeah. We've got some stuff in here. Okay. Um, Scott Blue Light Turner says, oh, uh, Beard 16, got my mind off some dark times years ago. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, Scott Blue Light Turner, especially after going to Watford and seeing all the films. Uh, Anna B, okay, I really need to sleep. I'm going to off. The chat is just too interesting. Go to sleep, Anna. Go yeah. to sleep. Night, um, um, Steve says, he was a young lad with a toy detector. Uh, he found a pro detector buried in the sand in a zipper, zip bag. Perfect condition. Brought it to the police station and got it back six months later. It's a result, Steve. That's a good result. Um, Anna's refusing to go to bed. <laughs> um, 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 go to sleep I should say she's refusing to go to sleep um, JP says I have all the Harry Potter books and special edition ones but I didn't buy I didn't buy them they were all left on a wall in my street with loads of other books with a sign that just said take them um, there's a That's few cool. places like that there's a few there's yeah. a there's a there's a 
a couple of telephone box libraries around here. You kind of take a book and put a book sort of yeah. thing. Okay, returning to the action, you can see. Andy, do you want to give us a, a kind of talk through and what you're doing for a little bit once you've got that first glue joint done? In the room. Cool. Yeah. So, just gluing the two parts of the tail together. It's obviously going to get carved down once it's dry and all that jazz and stuck on. Um, probably not going to be this week now. It's getting quite late. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't been home for very long before starting. So. Um, Need a bit of time to chill out. Um, I think I'm probably going to need to heat that to glue that. Um, still needs a bit of a trim. And no, where's the little one? That one's going to stick on that way. It's going to go on there. Do you have a profile gauge, Andy? The what? Sorry. Uh, profile gauge. No. Oh, I was going to say, if you had one of them, you could have put it onto the back of the fish and then traced the profile out and then just cut it on the uh, top fin so it would uh, sit down, uh, glue down a lot easier. Oh, what, like that? No, no, the... So, the you know those things with the pins in it? Oh, that just, then. Yeah, yeah, just um, push it on there and then just draw, trace it onto the top fin and then you could just create the uh, exact tapers, contours. Yeah, but that's a whole lot of fiddling, man. I'm a yeah. bit more... Uh, I should put, I'll give it a go one day, but I'm a little yeah. bit more fly-by-the-seat-of-my-pants kind of guy. Yeah, fair play. No, just a thought. Um, right, David David McKinnon's off uh, for the night, so... Hi, Dave. And he's saying... Hi, Dave. Uh, saying it's a great live, Andy. Thank you. And also, night, Dave. I'll just hold those in place for now, I think. The advantage with the res the epoxy over super glue, you don't have to have a perfectly flat surface because yeah, the epoxy fills the gap. Ah, right, okay, yeah. So th that's uh, the super glue. The, yeah, you don't. I thought you were using super glue, not the resin. I didn't just noticed that you've actually got the resin next to your. Oh, no, no, no. Stop sliding. Stay there. It's downside to flying by the seat of your pants. You've got to sit there for ages holding something. To <laughs> and then it will inevitably move. And then, yeah, fun and games. How long does that stuff take to set? Um, well, it should, should set relatively quickly in here. But <laughs> but feel of it, it's not. Let me just whack the heater back on. Stay there, you swipe. Cool. Right, let's just hold it for a minute. Let it dry. You troublesome chap, you. That's kind of what you were going to say, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Uh, my <laughs> word. My yeah. word. That's a bother. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
lots of good stuff going on in the chat. So folks are saying, um, um, taking shape, Andy. Uh, taking shape, Andy looks good. Um, um, Flaming Turner says, I feel your pain. Had that this afternoon, gluing up a pen blank. Uh, Steve Twidell says, could you use super glue with epoxy like folk do with wood glue? Say that again. So Steve's Steve has a question, which is, could you use super glue with epoxy like folk do with wood glue? Mm. Oh. What, as a, as a hardener type thing? I'm guessing as a, so you use the super glue to get your... Hot bit uh, still and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes right. sense. The, yeah, probably. Didn't think of that. Thanks, Steve. Now I feel a bit stupid. It's all right. But the only thing with the, I would say, with the super glue is it leaves like a white stain. And when right. you use uh, the epoxy, because I'm carving around it. Yeah. Although saying that the white does go, but like, yeah. I don't know. Would the super glue react with the uh, epoxy at all? No, it shouldn't do. Okay. If one's hard, it shouldn't, anyway. Yeah. That's what she said. Oh, the mum. <laughs> <laughs> That was just, I mean, it was a sitting duck there, mate. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like watching paint dry, isn't it? No, no, nope. not at all. Not at all. At least that's watching one, glue dry. This one's much more fishy. <laughs> um, uh, out in the chat, we have the beard says, Yes, you could. And uh, Nick says, A ring of epoxy with a dot or two of super glue. Uh, the beard says Gorilla Glue Gel. I'm not sponsored by Gorilla Glue, though, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be interesting. Let's see where it goes with it. Oh, um, uh, the Scott, uh, the blue light tunnel says, "Be right back. Be right back. Bath water has gone cold." Yeah. Scott, where are you watching this live? <laughs> 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 are you watching I, I, I mean I might be wrong but I mean are you watching this in the bath you know I've now got an image of you of a beautifully made bath board with some tea lights you know perhaps a red you know I mean the phone carefully positioned relaxing there He's now he's leaning forward to let the hot water flow into the water a little bit um, yeah. uh, people have those bath boards with you, you know tablet thing built in what what like a jacuzzi you know, type the um no no bath boards and they have the a slot for oh, okay. uh, tablets to stand on yeah oh, i mean you make them there's, there's quite a lot of folk make them and they're good they're good make actually it's a good video man yeah um um that has that yeah, has good um, stuff. yeah it's a good make that has a that has a richard morley sort of feel that one a quick a quick live written all over yeah. it um, uh, he's in the bath. He is actually in the bath. Um, um, my yeah. word, my word. Okay. Scott, I now have a vision of a, an appropriately flowery sort of hat covering it, <laughs> hat shower cap type thing covering, complete with glasses. Yeah. Um, um, with a toe interfering with the tap. Um, my word, and lots of lots of bubbles. I feel just for modesty. Um, yeah. um, Leona says. <laughs> Thinking to that image that Jay has in his head right now. Oh, we're just adding to it. I saw Jay with Jay wrote, so we've just got to we've got to lay it on yeah. now. Help him build the demon. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, Scott says, uh, Leona says, Scott loves his naked lives, um, and Scott responded yeah. by saying, "It's the only place he gets peace, Leona." Um, um, I feel, I feel that. Uh, 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 we may say, yeah, I don't know. I've just got this image of candles, a board, a phone, kind of thing. Taking it easy, a glass of red or something like that. You know, I mean, that's just kind of where <laughs> we're at. This one, served right now. So that's, uh, that's just kind of where we're at, Scott. Kind of thing. I feel Jay is 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 suffering at the hands of this description, though. Yeah. As is that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's trying to erase this chat from his mind right now. 
we could lay on a bit thicker again. I was just thinking, this is going to be on my channel for the rest of my days, isn't it? You can't can, right. you, you can <laughs> cut the audio out. You can him. cut the audio out. Cut the audio out. Stick a bit of music yeah. over it, mate. Do some subtitles. Um, out in the chat, we've got young JP. I'm imagining him with a blue flashing hat, like the <laughs> mentioned, <laughs> be -do, be -do. <laughs> I feel that's one for you to comment on, Scott. <laughs> oh, <classic. laughs> Not got a board, but gonna have to go and make. Uh, got making one, so yeah, he hasn't got the, uh, he hasn't Oh, got that's a shame. It's definitely, there's, there's, a, there's a there's an impromptu live if I've ever had one. You know, yeah. got to get, gotta get the got to get the tea lights. So I mean, you could do a better turning. There's a better turning. I'm not being funny, but that would yeah. make that would be quite good out of um, GPS stuff. At least it'd be waterproof. It would so, be waterproof. It definitely would. Be an expensive yeah. better GPS so it's that thick. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, you'd need Korean. Um, it's quite really uh, Kieranite. <laughs> My apologies. I yawned. Oh, stop moving. Nick saying, All I want to say to you now, Scott, is. How are you doing? So I'm guessing that's an <laughs> experience. I feel that. It's, it's, there's only one man can say that right, really, and he has a, he has a significant beard. And yeah. He's, he's, he's very dark. Um, um, you know, um, it can only, I, I mean, you have to echo, then there has to be a, a salute to a, a William following such a remark. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Midnight Joker says, going to grab a coffee while it's drying. What are we talking about? The glue or Scott? <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I um, didn't need that image either. I need a GPS sponsor, Andy. <laughs> Oh, my word. <laughs> I mean, that, that would have been better with her. You could have got away with it. That's what she says. But, I mean, it definitely, definitely was, was opening up for a question first. Um, yeah. Right, I'm not going to actually stick the other fins on because it's going to make it too hard to carve the two that I've already stuck on there. And I'd rather carve them on there than I would off because you... You lose something if you they're not attached. If you see what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So the blend to the body that to dry. What I'll probably do during the week is fiddle because that's what I do. Um, so hopefully I can get that done um, at least part way and maybe finish it um, next week. So if I can get all the bits on. Uh, that glued on, the tail glued on, and the two extra fins. It's gonna look um, cool. Yeah. Then, um, then we can go from there. But as for today, I think I'm going to actually leave it there before I go too far and there's no return. Well, <laughs> out in the um, chat, some closing remarks on the remark we've just. I think. Oh. The blue light on our young Scott says, not wrinkled enough yet, followed up by Wayne of the Big Feeties. <laughs> Give it a few years, Scott, and you will not need to get in the bath to get wrinkled. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, so Steve's now. saying, it's looking great, Andy. Love, loving the shape, showing movement. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much, Steve. It's getting there. It's getting there. It, I, although there's, what, 20 minutes, half hour or so left, I'm not going to get enough done um, now. It's it's getting too late, and I'm too tired, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm going to knock it on the head there, um, cool. if that's cool with you guys. Yeah. It's a privilege to be here again, as I'll always, Andrew. Yeah. Thank you. 
Um, and hopefully again next week if you boys are up for it. Yeah. Um, I'll do definitely. Definitely. I want to find out how I want to find out how wrinkly Scott got. <laughs> Scott's going to now send you pictures. Um, oh, so important uh, couple. Of, yeah, West Richard's question is worth what? Please, sir. After you. <laughs> uh, Richard was the first comment that I saw then, um, and no, I won't be playing. I don't have baths, man. I have showers. Um, not that you needed to know that. Come on, where's the rest of the chat gone? Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks, Leona. Uh, thanks, Jay and Steve and Jeff and everybody else that's in the chat. Huey. Um, thanks to Cuz and to Dale for being my co-hostage this evening. Okay. Um, thanks, boys. Really appreciate it, as always. Um so uh, Cuz needs a hat. I still think Cuz needs a hat. I had a hat. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, this is Team Viking, so it's a, I might have to send like Viking armor out or something like that. So, oh, okay. Okay, okay. Don't send him one with horns, though. You know. Yeah. No, because horn Vikings didn't have horns. Let's not go no. there, don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like you know. I mean, a certain sort, a certain sort of um, a takeaway thing is. is one gentleman's kryptonite mention a horn mention a, a horned viking helmet kind of thing yeah. you're just an Andy. Yeah. Like, try and buy a horned helmet and wear it just for just mm. <laughs> mm. well there's a very famous maker that does really yes there is you both know who this particularly famous person is now he's actually a legend uh-huh but i can't abide the helmet i'm sorry Oh dear! I can't think who you who you mean to be honest, but thing is, he's a really lovely bloke. So yeah, I'd probably just say, "Dude, they didn't have horns. Just take them off." <laughs> <laughs> and, and, but and, I would and, do it quietly and very politely. Put yeah. a, make a boat. Say what I need is a helmet for it. Borrow for a minute. Put it on the boat. Send it out onto the bay. <laughs> send, send it out to the bay. Fire some arrows into it. You know where I'm going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, that sounds cool. Um, awesome. But anyway, sure. thanks ever so much, guys, for jumping in. Uh, thanks for the likes and all that jazzle. Um, we shall see you next week, if not before. Check out Dale live on Sunday. Yep. And yep. Richard tomorrow. Yep. And Wayne Wednesday. And then... I don't know who else is on in the week. Suddenly's busy. Suddenly's busy. I think there's a isn't there a, a Steve Twydale Win the Wood Turner thing live sometime on Thursday? Oh, there's a. I'm not sure. There was sort of you know, uh, definitely a live. Wayne's, on Thursday. Wayne's doing a premiere tomorrow. I think. Yeah, so Wayne's Wayne did a premiere tonight. He's oh, live yeah. on Wednesday. Um, I think Steve and Wayne have a collab on Thursday cool. night. Steve, if you're still in the chat, please speak up. Um, yeah. um, Friday night, don't know. Um, don't know, don't know anything's booked in, you know, but Thursday night, I think there's a call. Up. Really Nick, isn't it? Cool, so there's something pretty much 9 p.m. Right. Yeah, 9 p.m. So there's only a Friday night, but you could catch Zach Higgins out late in the night. Um, Zach does a uh, 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 Zach does what Zach does. Um, and if you're really, 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 if you want to see a lot of scroll sawing, uh, Charles Deering. Is live pretty much every day. I think he's doing the Founding Fathers right now. Oh wow! Yeah. Um, and he says it's quite a it's quite a big piece. It's quite quite amazing. Um, but big job, <laughs> big job. I have to admit, um, scroll throwing is definitely a guilty pleasure now. Oh, um, there's a there's a there's a team you can I, join. I actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got my own. It's too late. <laughs> Um, on, what was that all about? Is this like, no, uh, there, was a, there was a bit of um, thing on my uh, finger, so. Okay, good. Anyway, right. I shall catch you all later. Thanks ever so much, guys. Love you all. Have a good week. Bless you. All right. Night, everyone. Oh, bye. Hit the button. Hit the button. Hit the button. <laughs> <laughs>